Next, we want to find, using the calculator, f prime of x, and we also want to find f prime at a particular value, let's say 2.5. So if you haven't done so already, let's clear your display screen and your working screen. Again, you can press clear while highlighting any object or use your F1 tools to clear the entire screen. I like starting with a clean slate. So there are several ways to find F prime of X and we're going to look at both of them here. So you'll want to type this information in and I'm going to write it below to kind of follow uh, as you follow along. So this little D thing is actually telling the calculator that you want to find a derivative. Now where do I find that D? You'll notice it's uh, right here above the 8 and it's written in blue so it's going to be second 8. We'll draw up this D and a parenthesis. So we'll continue on and type the tangent uh, this is a repeat, x to the power of 2 plus 1. Now this is daunting, retyping this whole thing, and that's going to be the motivation of the other way. But for now, let's type it all in. So I've typed in my function, and now this comma says with respect to a variable, and we're doing this with respect to x. And then I'm going to end the parenthesis. So that's going to give me this here from my typing screen. When I press enter it's going to give me a big giant mess on my display screen. That is the derivative. So now let's clear everything out again getting a clean slate. Here's the other way to achieve the same derivative saving some critical time such that we don't have to type in the whole function again. This time, you will notice, instead of writing the whole function, I wrote y1. So that y1 is referring to the function that we defined y1 earlier when we said y1 equals, and we typed it in this time. You never want to type a long equation in more than once. You could make typo errors easy. So I pull up my derivative, second 8 pulls that up. And then to get the function y1, I literally just have to first type in the y button. Then I next have to press the button 1. So that will call up the y1 function. Now I want to make sure they say uh, of x by using parenthesis x parenthesis. Then again, comma means with respect to, with respect to x, finish the parenthesis. And enter gives us the same result, the derivative. Clear everything out, and I want to show you how to get f prime at 2.5 at a particular value. So I'll need to type in this. Let's walk through it. So it's the derivative, again, of the function y1 of x with respect to x. Then I have this slash that slash means such that and that can be found under the equals right here next to the 7 under the equal so that slash means such that x equals now we actually want to use the equal button which is below x and then we can type in our 2.5 because I've introduced a decimal it will give me the approximation decimal press enter and it gives me the value of the derivative at 